Welcome back. With us right now from the third board is Annette Sabal Sol. Correct. Did I do that all right? Yes, <laughs> okay. Annette Sol. Yeah, Annette Sol. Hey, it's good to see you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for coming in. I know Pleasure. Uh, you had kind of a last minute fill in that you were asked to come in, so we really appreciate it. So thank you very much. It's great to have you here today. You're welcome. And I know you have a lot to talk about, but one of the things you are uh, kind of passionate about, and we've talked about a little bit here, coming up uh, is the annual Memorial Golf Tournament, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Well, since we, we last met on February 27th, <coughs> um, I have switched from the Landscape, Water, and Communications Committee's assignments to the Architectural Control ah, and Standards okay. Committee along with being on the Parking Task Force and the GRF Community Activities uh, Committee. So upcoming in the village is the Laguna Woods Men's Golf Club 9th Annual 2017 Memorial Golf Tournament yeah. and Dinner. And this is to benefit the foundation of Laguna Woods Village. The tournament will be held on Saturday, May 13th for the Laguna Woods residents and their guests. Last year, the golf club donated $19,254 to the foundation. This ongoing commitment of the club to help our residents in need and to joyfully remember their golf members who have passed away is awesome. In order to sign up, please visit their website, which is lwmgc.org, or paper forms are available at the Pro Shop. Remember, the golf club only supports one charity, all net funds are donated to the Laguna Woods Village Foundation. Yeah, that's that's fantastic. It really is. It is. And, it's uh, very we have it up on the screen here, so uh, folks can uh, know about it. And the, as Annette said, the website is lwmgc.org. But if you forget that, go to the main website, go to the club pages, and then go to the men's golf page, and it'll click right in. Absolutely. So you can do that way as well. That's uh -huh. great. Thank you. Yeah. Now also. What's Up in the Village on March 24th reported that six of the 12 installa solar installations were up and running. Actually, nine of the 12 photovoltaic solar panels on the Garden Villa buildings are now up and running. <clears throat> the board, especially chairman of the Energy and Technology Committee, Bill Walsh, and the staff continue to work with Southern California Edison to secure permission to operate. These panels offset the third mutual energy demands in common areas, saving the environment and the members money. So yeah, that's fantastic. It's always a good thing. Yeah, so you've got, uh, what, three more to go? Three to more get to the go. Permission to They're going to be a little bit more difficult just based on the transformers and some of the things he's experiencing. Okay. But we were able to put 75% of them immediately up and running, you know, in a fairly short yeah. time, which fantastic. is great. Yes, he's done a great job. Um, he's put in. He has high integrity and he's put in an incredible amount of hours to make yeah, it happen. Yeah, that's fantastic. And then another thing you folks have talked about, and I think at uh, your last meeting, the red, the red curb policy and reset policy. So talk about that a little well, bit. Well, the third mutual, <clears throat> um, the MS Ernesto uh, Munoz, um, they hired a consultant and we have paid for the consultant to come in and analyze in the third, the parking conditions. Mm -hmm. And the first one that was the most affordable is what we call the red curb reset policy. It's the first parking solution to be implemented by the board who approved staff to remove the red curbs were indicated and uh, where the consultant had indicated. Now after, mm -hmm. initially he said like 725, but we believe there's at least about 550 more spaces that will become available over the wow. next year. The third is continuing to address the need for more parking solutions, being ever mindful of the fact of our assessments. So we're trying <clears> to do first what's the easiest. Right. And then the reason there was some disparity is because some, you know, the fire hydrants, the bus right. stops, all of that. So as we keep going, you know, 550 is a real realistic number. Wow, that's a lot of extra spaces. It is. That's it amazing. Is. Yes. Just by basically taking away some of the red curbs or, or setting them back a bit, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, they have to, they have certain things that the fire marshals dictate of, for of course, how many yeah. feet are for a fire hydrant. Right. And now with the new bus policy and stuff, they can eliminate certain things. And um, I think when you have, when you call in, especially for a bus, you just really have to hold up your card. Yeah. And the bus driver will stop where mm -hmm. you are and pick you up. Yeah. Which is Fantastic. a great thing. Um, one of the things I wanted to talk about too was um, at the next board, third board meeting, 
which will be held on Tuesday, April the 28th at 9.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. in City Hall. <clears throat> and all members are welcome. Attending the committee and the board meetings is one way to stay abreast of what's happening in the village. Of course, they're making great strides. People tape the programs. I always listen to the GRF via tape. Um, a lot of people can get them on their smartphones, their right. tablets, their computers. And of course, you can, oh, you know, they see TV6. Just depends where you are and your availability. <clears throat> Currently, the board is working on leasing and architectural control and standards policies. Mm -hmm. And at the last board meeting, on, held on Tuesday, March 21st, the drone policy was tabled right. for further review. And <clears throat> it was quite a lively discussion that ensued, and I think it will be, and, you know, as far mm -hmm. as input goes. We were discussing privacy, <clears throat> the fact that the speed of the drone, they say it could be a line of sight and yet it can go 100 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. So um, we didn't know, we were thinking about maybe a governor needs to be put on those things to maybe they only need to go 25 miles an hour. In USA insurance policies perhaps need to be, you know, triple A rated or AA. And the types of coverage and most importantly the users. I can really see like the drone policy being used internally for VMS. Right. To look at the rooftops or if there's and the fire department mm -hmm. if there's fires and right. the, whatever exactly. they need to do. But um I really want us to proceed with a little bit of caution as it relates to commercial users. Mm -hmm. So those are the kinds of uh things that will be just you know that we have tabled because we need people's thoughts on those. Right, exactly. All right. The other thing is uh even though I've lived in the village for almost 12 years, I was surprised to learn that there was no emergency notification record form for either us for either of us in their file. So I did talk last time I was here about the form and filling mm -hmm. it out. I would like people to contact property services if they want to provide a key to their residence or if they right. want to put in the form and fill it out. Because if security is called to provide assistance in case of fire or water leak and you happen to be out of town, it's much easier to have two people from VMS access your manor right, and find exactly. out what's happening than to have the firemen come in and break down your door. Um, so you know, in case there was a fire or mm -hmm. something else, so I just think it's a much more expedited process. So that's pretty much it from the third right now. All right, uh, very good. And as you uh, mentioned, as far as your next meeting on April 18th, these will continue now. It looks all the way through May that'll be City Hall that the boards uh, will meet there. Yes, as far as I know. Brad Hudson's working very, very hard and keeping that project on track, but I. Yes, through May at least. Yeah, it that's might what even we are. be June, but we have to say abreast it. I'm sure you'll tell everyone. All right, good to see you, Annette. Thank you for coming, and we really appreciate it. My pleasure. You take care, Bye. and we will be right back. Very good.